Tiffany Youngren is a marketing and systems expert who is helping emerging mentors and coaches expand their reach with podcasting so they can help more entrepreneurs reach the winner circle. She's joining us today with more on this. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Tiffany. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. You know, most podcasters are really nervous to start this process because they're just not confident that they can attract a big audience. So what can a new podcast host do to grow their listener base? One of the best things that I think that they can do that I know that has worked for me, that's worked for my clients is really to kind of bust through the one thing that most marketers hype up and say, you know, hey, you need to have all these listeners right away. My podcasters and, and my own podcast, we really break through this, what we call pod fade. Most podcasters quit 82% before even 10 episodes. So what we do is we have a very strategic way of bringing on guests to do interviews with these certain guests that are really strategic. So they're not only creating content that's going to attract the right kind of listeners, but it's going to create enough episodes early on that they are already past their 10, 10 episodes while also building a referral base and uh, guests just by choosing the right guests to be on their show. And, and how do you choose the right guests? I think a lot of times people think, you know, I'm gonna, I've got a friend of a friend and they're available and let's plug them in. How do you select the right guests to grow that audience? You know, you hit it right on the head. Most, most people who do podcasts, they know a lot of people, they have enough influence already, maybe in their own circles that they wanna grow that. And really the best way to be really strategic about it is to understand what people group will really move the needle for you. So for example, if you're trying to grow a coaching business, let's say, and you coach uh, you know, uh, high income uh, or high achieving real estate investors. And so what you wanna do is be interviewing those real estate investors that you serve. And that way you're really showing how you work with real estate investors while also interviewing people who serve those real estate investors. So people who share that same target audience as you. And that really works across all industries. Uh, and then being a lot more proactive and a lot less reactive. In addition to just going into our circles, oftentimes podcasters will just throw it out on Facebook and you know kind of take who they get. But instead, if they're making a list of the ideal guests, their dream clients and their dream collaborators and approaching them from the get, from the get go, then what they'll find is they're going to grow this collaboration base, which will help them grow exponentially in addition to their dream clients. You mentioned Facebook and that is like the first place people go to promote the podcast that they're doing and then, then you don't know where to go. So what are the best places to advertise the podcast and maximize money so you're not, I mean, everybody wants to be a number one podcast, but where, where do you go to get the word out? Well, there are a few ways to do it. When you're first starting out, I typically tell podcasters, don't worry about the promotion side. It will happen on its own for the first 12 episodes. Then after that, right now, the most effective way, if you have limited resources, limited time, limited money, is to go straight for those video shorts because they're, they attract the most people. You can post them on TikTok, Reels, and you know, kind of back to Facebook as well. And then from there, grow it understand, you know, dabble in different ways from there as, as time permits and as you start to grow. And then whatever works, put money into that and then pull back on what's not working as well. Is that where your really good guest comes into play too? Because if you have a good collaborative partner, they can promote it as well? Absolutely. And then as you, as you know, as most people know, is when you have a guest on your show and you're promoting it, number one, it gets them excited to promote it as well. And not only do you have these two different promotions, but it's definitely a two plus two equals five moment where, you know, we all know the, the crazy algorithms that are out there, but having their influence and your influence, uh, combined together creates even more synergy behind those posts. And Tiffany, where can we go to connect with you if somebody wants to start a podcast and they, they need a consultant to guide them through it? Well, you can find me all across the internet at, at OMH Agency, and that's online marketing help, not OM, you know, yoga, but it's 
OMH agency and at Tiffany Youngren. And I'd be happy to help. Just reach out by messenger or at my website, omhagency.com. Tiffany, thanks so much. Great to talk to you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.